Hello everyone and welcome to another hands on tech video. Today I'm trying something different than usual and instead of showing how to build things in SharePoint, I will show you and comment the new features that were just announced and I will show you the videos that Microsoft released yesterday at the M365 conference in Orlando. So let's see what Microsoft is cooking for content editors and I watched them already and I can guarantee that you don't want to miss all these new updates. In this first one, we can see that SharePoint no longer looks like SharePoint and we can see a beautiful parallax effect that it's back to the modern SharePoint and a lot of different web parts in the page. Now into the editing part. As you can see, this editorial experience is quite different than what we have today and you can see that there's no predefined sections. Instead, we have a flexible grid that you can adjust and resize according to your needs. I'm a bit curious how this will work with the existing web parts and with the existing third-party solutions, but this is great for SharePoint pages. And finally, it will bring a level of flexibility and customization that was not possible without heavily modifying the SharePoint pages. There's also this design idea section with background images and with web parts already in its place. And there's more for content creators. You will be able to have multiple users editing the same page at the same time and see what each one is doing live while creating your content. And in the age of copilots, here it is the copilot for SharePoint. There's a new landing page from where you can start creating content and Copilot, it's available right in there. With this prompt, you can give your inputs, attach your files, and Copilot will gather all that information and will build a SharePoint page for you with the web parts, with the title, with the text in place so you can start working and refining it. And if you don't like what Copilot built in the first place, well, you have the option to use Copilot again and redefine the text that he wrote in the first place. And then if you agree with the new version, just replace it and that's it. There's more. If you have the need to create the same page for different languages, you can select the language and Copilot will get the page for you in a different language. So this is awesome and it will improve a lot, not only your pages, but will help you to save a lot of time building well-designed and beautiful SharePoint pages. Two things caught my attention while watching these videos. I've been working in customizations to add videos as backgrounds to the other and page sections using custom code and customizations that are not supported by Microsoft. And it was great to see both customizations being displayed in the SharePoint pages. I hope that Microsoft will have support for videos in the other and videos in the page sections. And these two crops from the videos represent just that. Microsoft added videos to the other and to the page sections. And I have my fingers crossed that they will add this into the product when they release this new editorial experience. There was a lot more being announced in the M365 conference for SharePoint and related technologies. And this roadmap slide has everything that Microsoft is working on that will make its debut until the end of the year. So we have the brand center continuing to evolve to support more artifacts. Custom fonts are already available and rolling out. I covered that in my previous video. So if you want to have a look, go to the video that I'm linking down below. There's support for more video options in stream and there's a lot of new editorial experiences being added to SharePoint that we just seen in this video. So go to the links down below if you want to add videos to the other and page sections today in the existing pages. There's workarounds for that. Keep in mind that are not fully supported, but it's a fun and nice way to test and add a bit more of flexibility to your pages. And 
Also have a look to the official Microsoft post covering all the updates for SharePoint and related technologies from the Microsoft 365 conference. And this is everything that I had to show you about the new updates for SharePoint. Let me know in the comments what you think about all these changes. And also let me know what you think about this video format types. And if you want to see more videos covering the new updates, or if you prefer to continue to see videos explaining how to work and how to build things on SharePoint. See you next time. Bye-bye.